Hey guys, so I wanted to do an update slash Q&A of my nose. So, I'm just gonna get straight to it. This is a month and 10 days after my surgery. I love it right now, it's so cute right now. I love it. I don't think I could have picked a better surgeon. Like, this is exactly what I wanted. <laughs> I'm putting timestamps down in my description so you can just skip to whatever question you have. So the first question, the most asked question is how much did my surgery cost? And it was 3,200 euros. And that was just for the surgery itself. So my doctor actually offered a package deal, which included airport pickup, transportation to and from the hotel, hospital, clinic, um, seven day stay in a hotel, post-op medication. So that all came to around, I would say 4,000 euros in total, 3,800 to 4,000 euros. Keep in mind that the prices do vary from surgeon to surgeon and I booked mine during a time that was like, no one really wanted to travel because of COVID. And it was around in September, so everyone was kind of starting school. So I think that's why like, I got a little bit of a discount just because of the timing that I booked it. And the price is probably, I think might have increased a little bit right now, but I'm not 100% I'm not sure, but. So, Next question, so how was my travel experience, especially with COVID? Okay, my travel experience was fine. I had no issues traveling, but that's only because I travel a lot and I travel by myself a lot too, so I'm used to it. But for people who aren't used to it, I can see why it can be a little bit scary. I was just going with someone, like I went with my mom. So I was like, you know, a little bit more comfortable. So you leave your home country, you land at the airport, there's like Wi-Fi at the airport. Once you connect to Wi-Fi, if you take the package deal and the doctor's team does pick you up, you just go on WhatsApp and they will tell you exactly where to meet their driver and then the driver will take you to your hotel. So it's like really smooth sailing. But if you don't take the package deal, you're probably gonna have to take a taxi to the hotel. And most of the locals there, especially like airport workers, waiters at restaurants and like taxi drivers and things, they do speak like a fair amount of English, but you can download like a translate app on your phone in case, just in case you need it. But I was fine. As far as COVID, just make sure to double check to see if you require a COVID test, whether it's to go leave your country and enter Turkey or to come back into your own country. But it's super easy. I'm, I think you can just get COVID tests at the Turkey airport if you need one to go back. As far as like traveling back home, the doctor will give you a note saying, like an official note saying that you just had surgery, just in case you need it, in case anyone questions anything at the airport or anything. That never happened. I didn't even need to use the note. It was more of a like a just in case kind of thing. You also need an e-visa to enter Turkey in the first place. And you can just get that online. I'll put like the website in my description in case anyone wants. Next question. So couldn't you get the same shape in the US? I'm just curious. You can, I think like certain surgeons probably do do like the ski slope kind of nose and make it really cute and snatched and small and just cute. I actually went to a consultation in Canada like a year ago and he straight up was like, I can't do your nose. I'm not gonna be able to change it that much. I'm only gonna be able to change it very, very little. And I was like, okay. So it kind of forced me to look at other options. And doing my own research, I noticed that all the before and after some surgeons in Canada or even US, like it wasn't, it wasn't exactly what I was looking for. But then I saw a bunch of Turkish surgeons on my Instagram and I was like, that's exactly what I want. So I was like, why not? How did I book the surgery? So on his Instagram page is his WhatsApp number. So you can reach him through there. But did I have any communication issues? No, he, they actually spoke perfect English. Like, of course they had like a little accent, but like I could understand them completely fine. They could understand me completely fine. So I had no issues with them, like the doctor and his clinic and 
Um, I would say like the locals maybe don't speak that much English. Um, restaurant waiters, people at the airport working, they do speak a fair amount of English, so it's fine. I would still suggest downloading a Translate app just in case you need it, but I didn't really need that much. But how did I decide the shape of my nose? Okay, so I've been obsessed with Wolfie Cindy's nose. Everyone knows that she has like the most perfect nose ever. Because my nose was already small before, I would like push it up with my hands and it would look like almost like her nose because her nose is small too, right? So I'd push my nose up and it would look exactly like hers. I'm just like, oh my God, I just need surgery to like push this up and I'll have like a cute little nose like hers. So I showed my doctor her nose and he was like, oh yeah, like I think that's achievable for you because you already have a small nose. So that was kind of the inspiration for how I picked the shape of my nose and things like that. But I do recommend if you do have like a bigger nose to maybe, um, have maybe look at noses that are bigger in size but have a nice shape just so it's something more achievable for you do i like my doctor and do i recommend him so yes definitely my doctor was dr reset barat kayan and i definitely recommend him because he not only like did an amazing job with my nose but the whole entire experience was on point it was very high end. It didn't even feel like I was in a different country. You just have to pick the surgeon that you trust the most. He really understood what I wanted. And I think, I don't think I could have picked a better surgeon, to be honest. Like if I could do it again, I would pick him again. And I recommend him to like all my friends who are asking like, who should I go for for rhinoplasty? I'm like, you have to go to the surgeon, like trust. So what's your opinion on negative reviews of your surgeon? Okay, in my opinion, I think every surgeon will have a certain amount of negative reviews but for my surgeon specifically i saw a few but i didn't see that many and not everyone's gonna love the results that's inevitable so most girls that i've seen get their noses done by him like love the results and i also was like dming these girls being like oh like are you satisfied with the results do you recommend him and every one of them that i dm'd was all like really satisfied with the results is there anything that i don't like um well it's still like a little bit swollen i think because i can feel this area like the tip of my nose i can still feel it a little bit swollen so if it was like there's nothing that i don't like like i love this nose i don't think it could have gotten any better than this to be honest but if i had to pick something that i like like the least maybe if my tip swells down a little bit that would be nicer but it's gonna happen anyway so did i go alone and can you bring people up um no i went with my mom and yeah she was a great help so i think you can bring a couple people but i would just double check just to make sure anything you recommend to bring for post-op care i recommend to bring a travel neck pillow because when you're recovering you have to sleep upright and that pillow like really helped me like, you know, not like break my neck while I'm sleeping. And so what else? Extra Q-tips. They, they already give you like a bunch of Q-tips and like there's a saline nose spray that you have to spray on your nose every three hours while you're cleaning your nose. And I ran out of that in like one day. So I would say get a few bottles of that saline nose spray and a bunch of extra Q-tips because I ran out of Q-tips like crazy because you're always like cleaning your nose every three hours you have to clean it and i use like so many q-tips to clean um but they actually provide you with a lot of stuff that you already need did it hurt and were you nervous i was so nervous okay i like for the for like week as soon as i booked it i was so nervous i don't like the whole thought of surgery and anesthesia and like not waking up and just dying on the table I was like, what if I go to sleep and I never wake up? I would never know. Like, I was so nervous for that that I kept like bringing it up to the doctor and I was like, I'm so scared, I'm so scared. And he was like, chill, like, don't worry. I do like three of these a day, never had a problem. Like, you know, and he just kind of calmed me down, but I was still nervous and I just had to, you know, deal with it. Whatever, that's just one, one of the downsides to having surgery is like the fear you have going into it but the recovery for me personally was not 
that bad it might be bad for other people i feel like for me it wasn't the worst because my nose was already like small to begin with so you didn't have to do too too much work on it but with other people who have like really big noses that like he would need to really be more invasive on i think for them their recovery was probably like a lot worse but for me the most it didn't hurt at all i never felt any pain maybe a little bit when they were removing like this splints out my nose but that was only for like 10 seconds so it wasn't like that big a deal um what else yeah i was just sleepy all the time i had all these like movies and things that i had like plan to watch but i was just sleeping the whole day and the whole night for the first like two three days because the anesthesia is still in your body and it takes a while for that to like slowly wear off but as for pain i didn't feel any pain but i was also taking their pain medication every day so that's probably why i wasn't feeling any pain to be honest but yeah it wasn't painful with the pain meds so <laughs> you'll be fine has the surgery impacted your breathing at all? Okay, so when you wake up from surgery, you have a bunch of stuff in your nose. You have like the splints, you have the tampons, it's like completely stuffed. So most people are like, oh, I couldn't breathe through my nose. As soon as I woke up, you have to breathe through your mouth. But for me, when I woke up, I could, I could actually breathe a little bit through my one nostril, which was like, but I had to try really hard to breathe through my one nostril. But when you wake up from surgery, you just breathe through your mouth. It's really not that scary as people make it out to be. It's just like when you have a bad cold and you have a stuffy nose, like, are you dying? You can still breathe completely fine when you're breathing through your mouth. So like, I was completely fine. And right now I can breathe completely fine. He didn't mess anything up with my breathing. So it's all good. Hope I answered everything. I tried my best. If you have more questions, I do respond to everybody. Like I like to respond to people because i feel like i was in your situation so if you have questions you can dm me on instagram you can comment down below and subscribe and i will definitely keep posting updates of my nose and other things so yeah thanks for watching